leadership or sacking settlements? 25%. Leadership for right now. Wow, dies at max level for me. That's when I stop and do content. I miss leveling. <laughs> I tried, but they wouldn't let me, saying I need a subscription. It used to not be like that. That's a problem for a lot, right? Yeah, rush to max level, do raids. Uh, let's see, sword player. Current. Good bit better in melee, actually, if I need to use her to, like, hold things back. Cannot move. That's like pins people. I could get error of Kronos as well, so we can use error of Kronos and your beloved snipe to mess people up. Marcus Wolfhart. Let's go get our settlement back, shall we? Kill to protect. Get me back my shit, man. Let's get this done. Not so much World of Warcraft as Q of Warcraft. Yeah, I mean, well, Blizzard's kind of been uh, circling the drain here recently, so it's kind of unfortunate in general. Not about max level and rating anymore. So much more to the game than that now. Sure, there's a lot of things that unlock the current maximum. Well, yeah, can't you just... I know at one point, at least, you could just buy maximum, right? If you wanted to. Conditions acceptable! Really, really jacked up. Try to keep you guys back, I guess. The empire endures. Two duders out here. Marcus Wolfhart. It's up here. You guys, actually, you guys can't bang out a play. We'll put you out here, and then we'll run you forward. Uh, like I said, you guys will stay yours. back here. Let's put our range units up here. Go. Prime. All right, let's do it. Give it to him. Hunt Sparkle. Accord. These guys are about to get messed up. We serve the Emperor. Ugh. <laughs> Wee. Flying. Free company by Galmaraz. Loaded, sir. For the Emperor! Punch those guys in the face. Great swords! There's great swords Understood. over here. Free company! Put you back over here. These guys back as well. We we'll take a couple of swords and swing them this way. Speed. Take aim! Take aim. Our source Take warriors, aim. so let's shoot those Find in the face. Target. I feel like that'd be Our useful. And he Have just split is. the gap with his Find leader, unfortunately, so I gotta back these guys up. No oh, but not the end of the world. Shoot those guys in the face. Conditions acceptable. Uh, let's see here. Anybody else that I really need to shoot in the face? To battle. Like, Move really in. badly need to shoot in the face, anyways. Find your target! Source warriors off this shit. Launch. Free some of this stuff up as well. Yes, General. My Ulrich's rock! Let's be good over here. Try to strip some of those people off my damn uh, swords. hero unit out there. Attack. I mean, she's doing okay, You're all things considered, by. but. To, to make sure we can get rid of those guys that are messing their day up. Fire! Quick march! They are wavering! Here comes, here comes like three cold ones back here to give us problems. Finding range! Okay, you guys want to shoot that, please? Ready! Finish up! There we go, these guys shoot those dudes in the back as well. 
Yeah, you guys got this way, please. I think my guy's got peeled off his leader. Um, he's got caught. Caught in melee over there. We're all shooting a tree right now. Let's, let's move up so we're not all shooting a tree. How's that sound? Swordsmen are just getting completely screwed up by the enemy ranged. Ow, 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 ow. Also, ouch. Yep, there goes that unit. Rip. Let's try not to lose our halberds here if we can. If it can be avoided. Yes, General. Yes, General. Oh, those guys in. Also, if we could avoid oh, losing our great ready. swords, that also would be cool. Range weapons ready. For the Emperor. Free company. By Get all these freaking swords for you, though. Shit. Spot us the target. There we go. By Ulrich's Raw. Missile infantry. All right, you guys pull back over here. What do you think? Twenty some alligators left. Marcus, let's not die, shall we? If you can get the hell out of there, that'd be dope. You did a good job there, Marcus. You did a good job. There we go. It's time for you to back up, though. That halberd is dead, you were saying? If I lost the fight, it would have been dead. If I won the fight, so we're good. It didn't drop below the percentage. And again, like if I lost, the percentage of dying is higher than if you win. If you win, it's not as bad. If it would have dropped below like four, I probably would have lost it. War wagons didn't do awful. Yeah, they got 72 kills. That's not too bad, honestly, for the war for a war wagon. It's pretty okay. I've got like gold rank hunters here, but my war wagons is like rank one still. <laughs> Take these hovels. Any I am the Hunt Marshal. Vengeance. Hostility increased. So much hostility. Everybody's mad. Marcus Wolfhart. All right, finish up Emperor's Finest. Traitors always. Or wait, it's off of you, in your opinion. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, it's a good sword player. Um, the basic war wagon is pretty bad. Upgraded one ain't I terrible. Trust no man. Hunt them out by the silver hammer. Like the, the ones with the mortars or the ones with the um, the hell blasters or whatever. <laughs> it's a raptor catnip, I suppose. All right, so that's dealt with. That's his major armies handled. So we just need to go over here and grab this shit. Of course, these these three settlements are all part of one province. Go freaking figure, right? There are uh, high blasters. Marcus would be good. Wolfhart. Where is that? Oh, this thing. Yeah, I fought against this thing before. It's a freaking pain in my ass. Or you just use normal mortar as a Hellblaster? The Hellblaster is a lot worse if it's not mobile. Because it's short range. Like, the mobile Hellblaster is way... Or having a Hellblaster that can move around is way more useful than having a stationary one.
Ah, uh, repositioning mortars isn't quite as important. Uh, right. Then again, as Wolfheart, the noble Hellboss would probably be a lot better because I could get a Dwarven Engineer. Oh yeah, I probably should read this. Ghosts in the jungle. The colonists speak of something strange living in the jungle, nearby jungles. They say it is not of the lizards nor of the ratmen that infest the continent, but something else, a ghost, they call it. Part of me thinks this god's forsaken place drives some men to hallucinations. But today, a hunting party returned with a curious tale. They were tracking a wild bastardon whose carcass would have provided much sustenance for the colonists and had trapped the great beast in a bog. They claimed that it, that as they moved in for the kill, was unexpectedly struck down by an arrow propelled through the thick jungle, can jungle canopy directly to one of its eyes. Just frightened huntsmen could only be... It could only be supernatural. In the flora-covered terrain, it's almost impossible to hit a moving Bastion's weak points from range, from the ranges men described. Furthermore, they claim that they were th threatened by a mysterious hooded figure in the trees above them, a sorrowful voice of a woman telling them, whoever approaches my bounty will share its fate. Perhaps this is a ghost the colonists speak of. Whatever it is, to kill Bastion in such a way requires a level of precision far exceeding any huntsman I've ever met. And then... Huntress of the Fae. I have met a few of the elusive Fae folk of Athel Lauren in my early dealings with Clara. It certainly appears she's typical of her kind. On the rare occasions in the past when my hunting expeditions unwittingly led me into the Wood Elves realm, I found them to be standoffish and determinedly detached from the outside world, almost aggressively so. Those familiar with the Asari, or the Azrae, she's always, uh, <laughs> the Asari, yes, that's something different. What is, what the fuck is the Asari? The Asari is Mass Effect. The Azrae know by the trespass upon their hunting grounds, for they are considered to be some of the most lethal hunters in the known world. We are extremely fortunate to have brought a way stalker into our ranks, regardless of how loose she may be. Carl told me that she has been illustrious for quite some time, and the beast she seeks does not prowl these lands alone, though, and bringing it down will take some fight. Which is why she requested our assistance for the way stalker to admit that a quarry is beyond her talent, confirms that what conf confirms what an incredibly dangerous monster it must be. I gave her assurances that I would see this hunt through, but for now we wait await more information regarding the beast whereabouts. Beep. A tablet, no need to tab. <laughs> Alright. Well, I mean, if you're looking for a monitor that's just, like, a monitor, it, yeah, they're not terribly difficult to get your hands on, but if you're looking for one that's actually, like, yeah, like, somewhat decent. Uh, yeah, I think that's all we can do this turn. Yeah, it's not too bad. Honestly, even at three skulls, right? Things ain't too terrible. All right. Boop. Could hook up your TV for a third screen. Nice. Twenty now, if I wanted to. Two 1080p monitors, only three hundred, only three hundred dollars for both. Does the job perfectly. Yeah. My two, my two other monitors are like absolute garbage monitors. I've got an old Dell over here. That's like a four by three. <laughs> and then I've got, uh, I've got this AOC piece of crap monitor on my left. My only good monitor is my middle monitor. Even that one's only 60 uh, on the refresh rate. So, yeah. It's just decent size at all. Zulzma! Zulzma! Seek out the heretics. Which one is this? 
Oh, I almost made it. So, so close. HP 1080 monitor is like 25 bucks. Yeah, I started GoFundMe to get monitor, better monitors. What do you think I'm doing right now? Monster All right. Um, oh, we could get some regular like hot spear boys, I guess, to kind of just to replace the guys we lost, I suppose. We got here before order negative three. Call our CRTs. Ah, yes, the ones that you could freaking like drop on somebody and they die. Those were a good time. All right. Uh, okay, I guess that's pretty much all we do this turn. Gotta get over here and deal with this shit, obviously. Oh, I'm actually, hang on. Let's at least move this way slightly. Marcus Wolfhart. What is this? Is that a swamp? Is that what that's? Uh, is that where the treasure dam is coming from? Undead. The undead corruption is that bad over here? I guess. It's that lobsters over there, I suppose. It's come. It's pretty crazy, honestly, that it's that's that high. Hell, is it Karakuan? Uh, I know that sometimes having like different Hertz monitors can screw with each other as well, which is kind of a problem. Like if you have a 1440 and then you have like two 60s or something like that, it can be problematic for like full screening stuff. The Empire shall burn your Not like universally bad, but you know. Despite. Not a peace treaty, no. I have to kill you. Lizardmen pelt rugs and capes. Well, capes maybe. Rugs? That'd be kind of weird. Get some lizardmen linoleum going on. I was a kid, we had a TV that was so big, if it fell over, it would shit kill someone. <laughs> Yeah, those old, those old like large screens, before the like flat screen was invented. Marcus Wolfhart. She was pretty crazy, honestly. All right. Only the dedicated. Move, comrades. Just walk up into here for a moment. A defensible spot. Do some healing. Uh, this rebellion shouldn't be too bad. We have walled. Chibi's built into a giant wooden stand. Yeah, right. Now. There we go. Yorick Grimm joins the expedition. Finally, contact was made with the Spine of Sotek Dwarves. They are a strange lot. And it took quite some time for you to convince them your intentions were not belligerent. I mean, all dwarf things are belligerent, so, you know. Uh, once you describe who you were seeking, the throngs leaders told you it sounded very much like the master engineer, Yorick Grimm, a secretive dwarf who has spent long periods of time outside their hold. It was unclear to his kin what Yorick was doing on his forays, nor did they bother to ask. After being introduced to York, you, uh, he agreed to join your cause, but something tells you his eccentric dwarf services may cost you a little more than a mercenary's reckoning. All right. They will be judged. What the crap is going on in the chat right now? Uh, <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Carry on. I lied. What can I do? All right. Well, this every last beast. Um. Get rid of all these guys. We'll throw him in Unflinching. here. Unflinching. Marcus Wolfhart. Yo, what is the he? Uh, general engineering nonsense. Yep, looks like it. Oh, he's got resourceful as well. Neat. 
Uh, do, 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 do. It's good. Okay. Uh, the lizard's bane. The colonists have known about lizard men mining convoys that regularly travel along established trails of deep jungle like clockwork. They transport some sort of glossy black raw material that resembles obsidian. Dense metal that the wizards of home know all too well for its anti-magic properties. There is some concern that these convoys' movements inexplicably stopped, whoever now taking different routes, if not ceasing altogether. It was, I was unconcerned, but apparently the lizards don't change their ways without very good reason. To appease the colonists, I sent out an expedition to investigate the old trails, and they soon returned with a captive, a skink, one of the convoy overseers, and lots of oola then ensued immediately afterwards. Then our Syrian translator, nice, you got a Syrian translator, asked the skittish creature about the black material it held its forked tongue, further prodding with my hunting knife, made the creature reveal something about a short bearded warm blood that had been repeatedly stealing from their convoys, forcing them to change their routes. What is this dwarf doing this far from the spine of Sotek Mountains? This Dowie is either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid to be harassing the lizard men on their own turf, but is getting away with it somehow. Credit. Where credits do. See, so, you love this one's your favorite DLC. A secretive dwarf. It is truly astonishing how this Dowie engineer has been able to survive out in the wild on his solo forays against lizardmen convoys, but is clearly down to his ingenuity. A keen and talented inventor, Yorick seems to have all sorts of survivalist equipment at his disposal, all designed and built himself. He is very secretive about his past, revealing little more than the location of the previous home back in the old world, the great dwarf port of Barakvar. It seems that something in York's early life clearly irks him, which really isn't all that surprising. Dwarves feel all wrongdoings committed against them as if they are, had only just happened. With wild eyes, he tells me that he is destined for great things, but must rebuild his reputation one invention at a time. Though he appears skeptical that we can really help him, he sees value in the protection the expedition can provide on his travels through Lustria. He has also suggested that we gather some resources for some new inventions he thinks may prove useful to him on the expedition. Alright, so we need iron and timber. For you, we need... Uh, reach rank 5. Okay. Right. Poor Wula. Alas, poor Wula. Ready? Ready? Alright. Good deal. Anything going on here that's interesting? How to proceed? It better guess, be good. I I've trade. got some proceed. Got a little bit of trade going on, I guess. True. A timely arrival. My impossible. Impossible. Alright. Is this mace also a gun? Gun mace! Papa Greystoke with 250 bits. Out of the reserve, wouldn't let me farm any more bits today. Yeah, it's January. Freaking ad revenue just... Well, now it's February, I guess. But January and February, ad revenue just goes... But thank you for the 250 in any case. I appreciate that. And once again, thank you for the 500 from last week. So many bits. So many bits. I don't think his. I don't think the uh, the engineer's mace is also a gun. I think it does have some kind of like powered. Marcus, like there's something going going on with it. Like it's steam powered or some shit. Because he has a gun on his back as well. It does have a hand hand guard. I don't, I don't know exactly Marcus, what's going on with Wolfpart. it, but. Sure, it's deadly. Ah, all this vampire corruption. Why? Let's go. Do heck. Oh, they got the right of Sotek active as well. Oh, Marcus, oh, Wolf oh, there we go. I was gonna say, why am I still taking attrition damage? What the hell? All right, that's why. Fine. Get 
that going on. That movement, wow, I know. Welcome to Lustria, where you can't go anywhere. It's a lot of Source Warriors. What well, yes. Uh, standard Imperial supplies received. Rank plus two for Imperial supply units. Advanced Imperial supplies. Working our working our way up there. Ain't too shabby. All right. Continue moving forward, I guess. Uh, I should have shifted him a little bit more. Rip. Try to avoid dealing with Akai for right now until we can kill off this other faction of Dino Bo Dino Bros. The Drowned. I play me too. <laughs> It's always good to take responsibility for things, Particles. Clad Festa and the Blessed Dread apparently are now getting along. We're gonna have a rebellion, but... Oh shit, what's that? Glittering scales and a thousand. Oh, neat. Thanks, bud. I'll take it. Yeah, we're gonna have a rebellion, but uh, this should be a very small rebellion. Supposedly, we'll find out, I guess. Marcus Wolfhart. All right. Yeah. Making our way down, down here. Onwards, man. Super, super fast. We're we're rolling now. Are you guys at war with these guys? No, they're not. Good. Good. I was gonna say, if you guys come down here and take my shit, I'm gonna be mad. Tools of judgment ready. Moving off. Mad. All right, we need to go this way. So we need to go. We need to go to Jen, uh, freaking jump hook back, and we need to go to a place where the um the vampire coast controls, so that we can continue on continue on our quest. All right, name it rebellion. Yes, that is fine. That's fine. Rebel away. Might do Nakai next game. Uh, yeah, Nakai's Nakai's pretty fun. I like him, all right. His <laughs> his vortex is a little bit weird. Um, feels like feels like it should end sooner than it does. His start position in Mortal Empires is kind of cool, though. Random Brazilian here. Well, welcome. Skull takers destroyed. It's good, I guess, overall. All right. Get ready yes, for a breakdown. Set by the comet. Very well. Still taking attrition damage while in this territory. I am. It sucks. It's not a lot, though. Hey, thanks for the follows, Omen. Yeah, he starts in Norse on Mortal Empires. Yeah, I've done him in Vortex, but not Mortal Empires. Just feeling some lizardman, and I want to destroy stuff with him. Fair enough. Alright, we're gonna shift up to here, I think. Only surrender will save your beloved Lustria. <laughs> nice. The trap is set. Drop him there. Keep moving him this way. Onwards. Onwards. Let's level this up, shall we? Lead me astray. Keep doing that. We're gonna Marcus take a little bit of attrition Wolfhart. damage here, but it's not too bad. I mean, Get if these guys walk into us, it'll be worth it, honestly. Hmm. Albion, yeah. It's one of the reasons why they made Albion bigger than just one settlement.
See if he goes and commits suicide on somebody else, I guess. I forget what the the thing you get for killing Nakai is. Oh, hey there, little fella. How you doing? By the yeah. Empire. What up? These hatches are extremely hot in the summer. I'd imagine so. Yeah, I can't. I can't imagine Brazil's a a chill place to be. Ola Skinks! Agile Bacon. It's <laughs> a pretty great name. Alright, we'll put Swordsman in the middle. Spear Boys. The Albadiers out on the flanks. Great swords slightly behind. Just kind of like put them wherever they're needed. Our archers and throw them here. Put our engineer here. We'll put her here to boost the ranged units. We are Sigma Zed! Lady of the Azra! Also shoot things. Just have the war wagons coming in on a flank, I guess. And you guys can go over here. Shoot these guys in the ass right off the bat. Hunters have much longer range, so I'll put them behind the archers. Ranged weapons ready! Like so. Take all you boys. This, you, no, we'll take you off that. Put you guys on skirmish. That's one of our spears, throw him over here. Marcus. Yeah, I'll throw Marcus out on this flank as well. Post versus large, 10 melee defense, plus 10. Nice, that's actually not bad. Uh, anybody remember that Fantasy Albion campaign that ran 15, 20 years ago? Um... Not specifically, no. That was, a, that was a long time ago at this point. They did this novel thing by coordinating it through the new things called the internet. You can upload your battle results to their website. One of the best Warhammer memories. Nice, nice. That's pretty cool. Master Engineer! Shift everybody I forward here slightly. Sigma core. Start getting some shots in right away. Stay close. Child of Colonel. How much damage does it do that group of guys? Let's see. Kinda curious. Ooh. Not bad. Things considered, not bad. Spot us the target. All right, the let's swing these great swords out on this go. far flag, I think, because the enemy appears to want to be flanking very hard. Ready to fire. Let's roll you guys back. Run into getting sword. our guys smashed here. By the gears of Where's his leader at? Man, what I wouldn't give for some freaking fire magic right now. Ooh, baby. Pretty dope. Missiles will fly. Ready? Fire! We still have a lot of arrows to dump in on these guys, so that's good. Spearmen! At speed! In my sights. So your wolf hearts just Tracking. firing down the line here, Go. basically. Albadiers! Slay the old breakers! There we go. Go! Yeah, so as he's shooting in the side, he should get some pretty decent hits off. Alright, we're meleeing that guy. Albadiers. Bring the spearman up behind. Yes, quickly. Take Push the Albadiers forward as well. 
Uh, Sword of Sawyer, thank you for that follow. Appreciate that. You guys are on the side. Oh, we're not doing too bad here. Enemy leader is giving us a little Sigma, bit of trouble. Come on. Sigma guides us for Heldenhammer. Take aim. Oh, you guys engage in melee just for soak damage. Off our leader here. My girl, Maraz! Shoot! Shoot! Such a mass of freaking bad guys. Jeez, crazy. Nothing I can't fix. For Heldenhammer! Hunter's full pot. There we go. Enemy leaders falling down. Thankfully, our great swords and stuff are holding up pretty well. Halvaneers are doing a pretty good job, too. Right! Yes. 54 kills on this engineer. Ready to strike. Take the ground. You guys this way. Quick Just try to keep these guys pinched. Spearman. Let's try Get to slide these spearmen over Quickly. here. Quickly. I'll chase this guy and then we'll shoot him in the ass on the way out. Withdraw. Go. He's got to be outside of a certain range, I guess. There we go. There we go. So our lines get a little bit screwed. We'll move you guys in here. Free company! Yeah, you guys out of ammo. So we'll you guys up on this, I guess. Lady of the Glaze. Oh, he's almost dead. Pop him again. Conditions acceptable. There we go. Enemy leader down. That ought to. That ought to freaking. Yes, lobby. Put a nail in this. Ready for war! For the war so much hula. Spearman! Shaman! For the Emperor! This guy's almost out of ammo. Formation march! It's busy, I guess. Free company! Halberdiers! No Cow. shoddy contraptions here! Could entrench somebody, I guess. Just kicking people off. Might be out of range now, actually. I don't have any cab, unfortunately, to chase these guys down. Yeah, he's just fall off. Got to rewind with the blunderbuss in this fight. Yeah, I know, right? Like, this guy got 89 kills just standing on the flank, popping. Wolfhart's at 108. <laughs> oh, jeez, 128 kills. This guy only got 18 kills. What the hell was he doing? He was sleeping, apparently. 178 on the great swords. Well, they are putting in. They are putting in work. Your death shall be a woman. Laying down that law. <laughs> we just encounter. We just now encountered Hexadol. Really? Okay. Interesting. Go run them over, if only. If only. Tools of judgment ready. 